Hello everyone, let's get straight into it when today we're looking at the strategy of borrowing. Now we're looking at the strategy of borrowing when we're with addition questions. So this is an addition strategy. Now, first of all, well, we need a question, don't we? Let's look at 18 plus 32 equals, we don't know yet. Now some of you might be used to doing this, breaking it down into its into our algorithm, our, our addition algorithm, and that's great, 32. Well, we know if we do this, we can add the two here, that gives us 10, and then we carry over the one, and then when we have 30 plus 10 equals 40, plus the other 10 that we've carried over equals 50. So we do have our answer here, it's 50. But look, that took some time and that's a fine way of doing it. But can we do this quicker? That's what look, that looks like an egg, doesn't it? <laughs> can we do this quicker? Well, yeah, I think we can. If we look here, 18 plus 32, well, 18 plus 32, they're a bit unfriendly. We're looking at a couple of unfriendly numbers. How can we make this into a friendlier number? Well, friendly numbers usually end in a zero. So our friendly numbers, let me just write this here. Our friends, friendly numbers, they usually end in a zero. So we're looking at 10, 100, 1,000. These are our friendly numbers. And to get 18 to the next friendly number, the next number that will end in a zero, it needs how many more? Well, it needs two more. So for 18 to get to the next zero number, which will be 20, we need to plus two onto 18. But hang on, we can't just plus two onto 18. That makes it a completely different question, you might say. And you know what? You're right. We actually need to borrow it. Hmm, I wonder if we can see a 2 lying around somewhere. Well, I can certainly see one. Let's borrow it from the 32. So if we, we move our 2 over here, sorry 2, we're going to take that away, and we're going to end up with a new equation, so we have to minus 2 from that. We'll look at 18 plus 2 equals 20, and 32 minus two equals 30. Now remember, these are quite easy numbers, these to plus two and minus two, so you can probably do them in your head. And then we end up with our new question of 20 plus 30. Wow, now isn't that good? We can say 20 plus 30, well I know two plus three equals five, and so I, and I know that if I do 20 plus 30, that will equal 50. And we have our same answer, look, from over here, over to our beautiful egg. Now this is strategy is called burrowing, and we can do it more often with different equations. So if we looked at 27 plus, well, plus 35. Well, how can we get to the nearest 10 with our 27? Well, we need a plus three. Let's borrow three from over here. We have to remember to minus three from 35, and that will give us 30 plus 32. And we know that 30 plus 30 equals 60, and then we have to add the two, so 30 plus 30 equals 60, and then we have to plus the 2, and then we end up with our answer, which equals 62. 62. So today we've looked at burrowing, a burrowing strategy, and I hope that you can use this when you get an unfriendly addition question. Thank you very much for watching. Well, we deserve it. We've been getting away with murder for the last couple of weeks. Our high today could possibly be... <laughs>
said, tonight we'll back down in the 20 degree range, a little colder in the suburbs, and tomorrow, with a little bit of luck, we may 